Elliot Randall has worked with a lot of different musicians, even in the Kiss world. He worked on two of the four solo albums in the 70s when all four members of Kiss went solo. In this one, he talks about Gene Simmons and Peter Criss. Remember, if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. You can either buy a t-shirt, make a donation on PayPal, or join our Patreon. Here's Elliot Randall. How did you end up on two Kiss albums, two solo Kiss albums? Gene Simmons, uh, and Peter Criss. Right. Um, well, I guess they, they knew all the people who were playing around New York, uh, which is where they were recording their basic tracks. Their producer was a guy called Sean Delaney, who's no longer with us. But Sean was this wild, crazy musical genius who was also a, a former Green Beret <laughs> and also did all of the pyrotechnics design for Kiss. Wound up producing these two albums. So I got called in to do first Gene and then Peter. And we had fun. I mean, doing Gene's album, they flew four of us, New York studio guy, from New York to London. They had a budget that wouldn't quit. I mean, I think the idea was to lose money. <laughs> so they, flew, they, they flew us on the Concorde. Oh, cool. This is back in, what, 76? 78, I think, either 78 or 79, I'm not sure which. Um, and, you know, we were getting a thousand bucks a day, whether we worked or not. And it, it was very nice. We, we were at Richard Branson had a studio <clears throat> in Oxfordshire called The Manor. The Manor. And um, it was it was like a, a centuries old, you know, stone building with, with a great recording studio and kind of funky housing for the musicians and the meals weren't that great, but the music was fun. And um, Cher was there because at that point she was dating Gene Simmons. Yeah. So it was Cher and Chastity and Gene and, and a bunch of New York crude guys and a bunch of very, very polite English studio people, you know, people who ran the studio. Some people, when they answer this question, they'll say things I hate to preface the question with the people's answer, but they'll say things like, well, I don't want to go there. This is something mm -hmm. I'd rather not go there. Um, you're in the dentist's office and someone looks at you and say, hey, buddy, so what do you do? Because uh, you, you open that door and your door goes on forever because you have done so much. Mm -hmm. But if someone asks you that, okay, what do you do for a living? What do you say? I'm a multimedia producer. What's that mean? They'll ask. Well, what it means is I make music. Do you know um, anything I would know of? They'll ask. It depends on the way they ask. <laughs> ah, I've never. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking to, you know, get a whole load of new adulators. Um, you know, I'm simply trying to answer a question that somebody asked me. Um, yeah. If somebody says, are you a guitar player? Yeah, I'm a guitar player. Yeah. What have you played with? And if it's the right vibe, I'll go, well, I used to play with Steely Dan. I used to play with this, that, and the other. So I don't really have a problem with it. That um, is, but that's your mantra right there. You just said, I hate to point at you, but the way you answered that question is the way we started this interview of the fact that yes, if it's the right vibe, you, you answered it like I thought you would. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Because you kind of looked at your, your career that way of going, well, let's, you know, this is good for, I mean, do I want to go there? Do I want to go there? You know, yeah. Anyway, there you yeah. go. Mm. We'll have more from Elliot Randall in a couple of days. Remember, he was a session guitarist for Steely Dan, Frankie Valli, Paul Lanka, two of the KISS members' solo albums, Gene Simmons, Peter Chris. He worked with the Village People, Richie Havens, Peter Frampton, Yoko Ono, Carly Simon, Carl Wilson, Laura Nero, Kirsty McCall, and many others. Remember, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description. You can make a donation at PayPal, join our Patreon, or buy a t-shirt. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.